So I've just got to our Eurofox for the first flight of the day. First of all, we'll make sure the key's out of the ignition and both our magnetos are off so we can do our burping check on the dry sump. So, seeing as you're the pilot and you're going to go flying for the day, you're going to do a complete 360 around the aeroplane and start off and finish up the cockpit. First of all, we'll take the covers off. So these are the covers for the um, fuel vents to keep the nasty mud producing wasps out of there. The what we call a pedo static tube here. So this is our airspin indicator tube and of course the other fuel. So we'll take those off and put them um, back into the cockpit. So we want to start and finish in this particular location. So first of all, we're just checking the general condition of the aeroplane. We've got air in the tyres. We're checking our propeller for damage. No damage, particularly on the leading edges. That's why they have a mile of leading edges on them. And what I like to do is for a daily inspection is do or for any pre-flight for that matter, is to do the fatal four. Fuel, oil, water, flight controls. So we've got full tanks today, 85 litres, so I've got enough. We'll do a quantity check shortly, a, a quality check. Uh, oil, we'll do that now, and these Rotax 912 engines need to be burped. So we'll take our oil cap off the dry sump, and we'll burp the engine. So this will be our oil quantity check. So we burp the engine. I've already checked the magnetos are off inside the cockpit. We're going to burp the engine. You can hear it burping now. We burp it twice for the first flight of the day. And we can only get an accurate oil check when the engine is cold. So now we can reach in, grab the oil dipstick, and the oil should be halfway along the flat here. So this engine's a little bit over full, but as long as it's in that, that range there on the flat, that's exactly what we like. We have a little rag with us. We put our dipstick back in and our oil cap back on. So fuel, oil, water, flight controls. So I have enough fuel, we have full tanks. We have a, now have enough oil. It's quite hard to see, but in here on the firewall is a uh, overflow canister for the uh, radiators for the, cylinder, the uh, cylinder head cooling. So we check, we give the, we're gonna have to give the aeroplane a wiggle and have a look inside, back on the firewall, and sometimes you have to use a torch to actually see the level of that. So we check we've got water in this aeroplane. Oil cap's back on, Calf, uh, the uh, oil cap uh, latch is closed. Again, looking at all leaking fluids, can be leaking water, can be leaking oil, can be leaking petrol, or even leaking air out of the tyres. So I've got three tyres that have got, look like they've got air in them. There's no damage to the aeroplane all the way around. And as, again, I, as I say again, fuel all water flight controls, we're checking the flight controls on the outside of the aeroplane those for damage as well, not just the airframe, but particularly the flight controls. There's no damage to them, there's no bends, they seem to move freely. No, no holes in the fabric, no damage. We've got our elevator here, so we're making sure it's free as well. The rudder, it's free as well and not damaged. No split pin, no pins come out of the hinges, everything's safe and secure. Same again, looking down the side of the fuselage for holes, particularly on the bottom as well. And when we're down here, no holes in the bottom of the fuselage, and the Eurofox 3K has one fuel drain, one belly drain. So the Fox has two 40 litre tanks, one in each wing, and a six litre uh, collector tank. So I've drained, I've taken a sample of fuel. So you can see I've taken a fair bit. It's a straw colour, it's got the right sight, it's got the right smell, and there's, because uh, our fuel weighs, uh, our premium unleaded 95 car fuel or automotive fuel is, or as we call MOGAS, is 0.737 specific gravity, which means that the water is a kilo per litre, but not fuel. So we'll see any water sitting in the bottom or any sediment as well. Don't put it on the bitumen because it leaked the bitumen, so a bit of concrete is fine. Again, same, it's a reversal of the right hand side now. We'll walk right around, check that our ailerons, or in this case our flaperons on this machine, are not damaged. The wingtips cop, cop quite a flogging from hangers and whatnot, so there's no damage to the wingtips, leading edge as well, and we're back to where we started from. So that's pretty much it for a, uh, a pre-flight on a Eurofox 3K, and now we're ready to get in the cockpit and go flying.